people, it's Emilio, or you can call me Island Curl, and today is part one of my three-part series about hair type. A lot of people, when we say hair type, especially when referring to naturally curly hair, think we mean curl type only. And don't get me wrong, curl type is a part of it, but it goes so much deeper than that. But since that is the most talked about part of hair typing, that's what we'll be covering today. The hair or curl typing system was created by celebrity stylist Andre Walker and while he gives us a broad understanding of the different hair types, I'm here to break it down for you. There are four hair types and those hair types are then broken down further into subcategories. Let's start with type 1 hair. Type 1 hair is straight hair but we're not going to spend too much time on type 1 hair because this is a curly hair channel. Type 2 hair is wavy hair. Wavy hair can be then broken down into type 2A, which is hair that isn't necessarily curly, but it isn't bone straight either. It has some wave formations and some straight pieces as well. Then we have type 2B hair. Just like type 2A, there are some straight pieces in there, but they're found mostly at the root while the ends are wavy. Lastly, we have type 2C hair. Type 2C hair has well-defined waves that form from root to end. Moving on from waves, we have type 3 hair, which is loosely curled hair. This too can be broken down into three subcategories, type 3A, 3B, and 3C. Type 3A hair has a lot of loose springy spirals. This hair type tends to create a large S shape. Type 3B hair, although still very loose, is tighter curled and they take the shape of large ringlets with a few spiral curls here and there. Then there's type 3C hair, which Andre Walker does not mention in his curl typing chart. 3C hair takes the shape of corkscrews. This is the tightest curl of all the type 3 hair categories, but still very loose. The fourth and final curl type is type 4 hair, and of course it can be broken down into type 4A, 4B, and 4C. Type 4 hair is considered to be kinky or coily hair, which just means it's the tightest of all the hair types. Starting with type 4A hair, looking at the diagram, we can see that it has tight S-shaped curls. Now this differs from type 3A simply because it has smaller S-shaped curls instead of large ones. Type 4B hair takes on a Z-shape. Then we have type 4C hair, which Andre Walker also does not include in his hair typing chart. And it's weird to me that he didn't because type 4C hair stands out so much and so many people have this type of hair. How could he not include it? Anyway... 4C hair is so tightly coiled that it takes on a zigzag shape. Because I have type 4 hair, I'm going to spend a little more time on this particular hair type. So let's go back to type 4A. I have mostly type 4A hair and some 4B patches in random spots. And it's completely normal for a person to have more than one hair type, but one will always be more dominant than the other. My dominant hair type is 4A. This means my hair takes on more of a tight S shape and it's very visible. It's also prone to a lot of shrinkage. Type 4B hair, which I stated earlier has a Z-shaped curl pattern, can be less defined and less visible than 4A, but it is still very possible to see a curl shape with this hair type. It can be hard to manipulate or define this hair type because of its tighter texture. And lastly, we have type 4C hair. This type of hair is the tightest of the tight and you normally don't see a defined curl pattern with this hair type because it's so packed with zigzag shaped coils. Now this hair is deemed the least manageable, but that's only true if you don't know what you're doing. And that's no shade to anybody. Curly hair is like a hit or miss and trial and error type of thing for everyone no matter the curl type. However, because 4C hair is so tightly coiled, it is the easiest to break and it takes longer time to find products and a routine that pairs well with it. So just to recap, type 1 hair is straight hair, type 2 hair is wavy hair, type 3 hair is curly hair, and type 4 hair is kinky coily hair. My tip to anyone transitioning or who's already natural, embrace and love your hair no matter the curl type. I've seen and heard a lot of people diss their hair because it's type 4, and there's this thing in the black community especially where we tend to look down on type 4 hair and label it as ugly, unders undesirable, or nappy. And by the way, the term nappy simply means tightly coiled or curled. It's us who attach this negative connotation to that word. We need to do better. So with that said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all for today, but be sure to check out part two of this three-part series that'll be coming soon. Bye, y'all.